I'm here at the Miami Card Show. I brought my cash and I brought my cards. Join me as we go around the show floor to see what great things we can find. This episode is brought to you by eBay. eBay is your number one source for cards and collectibles with the largest inventory of sports cards from basketball to soccer and buyers from all over the globe. eBay is the leading place to buy, sell, and invest your cards. All right. Hey guys, a few tips if you're going to a card show, how you can get ready for a card show. First of all, I always recommend bring a backpack. Bring any cards you want to trade, as well as your cash, and this will be helpful as you buy cards at the show. Speaking of cash, cash is always king at card shows, so bring some cash with you. Ideally, you're going to pay that way. Any cards you're going to trade, know the value of before you go to the show. Look up the value, use a tool, ideally like Market Movers, to know the value of your cards, and then bring a target list decide which cards you want to buy in advance before showing up at the show what players you're looking for what cards you're looking for have a strategy it's easy to get overwhelmed at a card show with the number of choices if you have a strategy that's going to be best for your investment decisions going forward something like that it's all the cards that i'm going to be targeting here in miami today very timely to get a whole bunch of kevin porter out after he like popped off the other night right So while hockey, what's uh, why are you going for uh, the cup cards? Uh, diversify my collection. I'm okay. from Toronto, anyways. Big okay. hockey guy growing up. Um, I think that the cup ones and those players are going to continue to increase in price. Yeah. The Ovechkin, he's going to go down as probably the second best player to ever play besides Gretzky when it's all said and done. So I think the investment now in five years will probably be true. Cool. Awesome. And they're really, really hard to get. Like yeah. nobody wants to sell them. I just offered a guy 120 grand for his jersey number. Awesome. Uh -huh. He basically told me no. I need to go higher than that. And he bought it for 70, so it's like Yeah. Market's hot, man. Market's hot. Did you come up with prices on the sevens? I would do sixty-five for all three. Sixty-five for all three? I like those 2007 LeBron refractors because the pop counts are the lowest of any of LeBron's refractor cards. So to me, if I can pick up some of those 07s, I already own some, but if I can get more, I st I'm gonna start to corner the market on those 07 refractors. And anybody who wants to build a collection of all of LeBron's refractors, they might have to go through me. All right, so I'm looking up all recent sales of the 2007 LeBron refractors. So the last 10, oh, that's a white 10 that sold for 17. That's the regular refractor. It's actually sold for 21, but that was that was back in March. Markets come down. That one's that one's in April now. And that one sold for 20. 24 for that one. I think I'm going to go for the base. I think I'm going to try to make a play on the base refractor. He quoted me 15 for it. I think I'm going to see if I can get it down to 12. If so, I'm very comfortable making a play at that price. I'm just thinking right now if I'm going to make an offer on all three, or if I'm going to make an offer on one, I might feel them out a little bit on the price of, of both, and we'll see where we get. All right, so I'd be, I would be 12 on that one, or 50 on the three. And I think that's the best I could do on those. This one just sold at auction the other day for 17. And that's the lowest pop, that's the lowest of the three in terms of numbering. That was numbered to 99. These last sold at auction for right around 20, but that was over a month ago. And obviously the market's come down quite a bit on LeBron. I got cash for that one on me. Um, but I could, you know, PayPal you or wire you potentially as well. Twelve five on that one. 
All right, I'll do 12-5. That's the deal. You got it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Good doing business with you. Then, uh, Is there anything you want to trade for? I'm, I'm okay. only looking for a Ovechkin. Okay. Jay, yeah. Like, if you guys come across, and I'll pay top dollar okay. for any of that stuff. Okay. If you guys ever come across that, that right? That's me, yes, sir. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, back. When did you get into cards? I got, so it's a funny story, and I tell them all the podcasts, I'm on when people ask about it. It's like, you know, you lose, like, we get into business, like, you lose, like, the inner child, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You stop having fun at some yeah, point. Yeah. Business is fucking stressful. Yeah. So, my buddy gave me a case of cards or a box of uh, 1819 Prism. Yeah. I pulled a Luca Silver in that box, and he's like, it's a fucking $7,000 yeah. card. And I was like, You're like, what? No. Right. I'm like, what? And he's yeah. like, you have no idea the market's booming. Yeah. So, I got into it, and then. I literally just started buying up like all the right stuff. Yeah. With no guidance. I was buying up Curry, Durant, yeah. LeBron, Mahomes. Well, you were buying the right stuff. I was buying the right yeah. stuff. And then I hit he does all my grading and then you know I help him with business and guidance and awesome. you know, he helps me with grading and buying cards and hunts. Good. So Good man. And I love it. It's Good a, stuff. It's it's a fun hobby where I can go make money. Yeah. I like making money, right? It's yep. not, I don't like money, but I like chasing it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, a lot of people think that money is prize happiness. It doesn't. It's a thrill. It's the thrill of making it. That's it. All right, guys. So I just got this card. I was excited to get this one. I wasn't expecting to see it on the show floor. Here's why. There's only 10 of this card in the world. The 2007 is the rarest of all the LeBron Topps Chrome Refractors. And so I actually already own one of these. But since there's only 10, owning a second is great. Kind of allows me to start to corner the market a little bit if I can get more of these. And here's the thing. If anybody is trying to build a complete set of all of the Le LeBron Topps Chrome Refractors, you got to have this one. So this is a card because of the super low pop that I feel good about going up in value in the long term. So here's some of the cards I brought with me to trade. I love Acuna, but man, his cards are hot right now. So often it's best to try to sell a card while it's hot. And this is the definition of that, right? Uh, I've got a, a few really high-end Giannis cards. His cards are down, so I'm a little hesitant to sell, but at the same time, I honestly wouldn't mind moving one, as I got a lot of Giannis. I wouldn't mind divesting a little bit. That's a big card, uh, obviously the nine in that card. It's a, it's a classic, but I actually got a second one of these that's actually autographed, so I'm willing to part with that if I need to. Embiid has been hot, his cards have been hot, so that's another one. If I gotta get rid of it, I could. And then these two, I'm actually looking to upgrade to tens. So if I find 10s at the show, I like both, I love both of these cards, but if I find any 10s at the show, I would definitely trade out a 9s to help get my way up to 10s. Another thing I brought to sell, I bought a ridiculous Kyler Murray one of one collection. Look at this. All of these different cards are all Kyler Murray rookie cards in one of one. So if I if I need to part with any of these, more than willing to do that for the right deal. Target Vineyard's member, I just Oh, I awesome, just dude. Thank you. Love what you're doing, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate love it. it. Love it. Thank you, thank you. I got in last spring and started, I became a member last spring. Awesome, you were, you were early on, I yeah. appreciate it. I love your content, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Always watching. Yeah, we started listening to your stuff uh, back in the podcast from like the beginning. Yeah, thank you. That was... he, he's, he made me listen to your podcast. He went for walks and listened to it. It was good yeah. stuff. Awesome, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes. All right, so he's got, he's got, your typical tops, tops, chrome, LeBrons, and Kobe's. Honestly, I think those are easy buys right now because the Kobe market's down quite a bit from the last few months. Yet you got his Hall of Fame ceremony coming up. You got his documentary coming up. The LeBron market's down quite a bit over the last few months, but he's back on the court now. I think LeBron and Kobe are easy buys right now. I might see if I can get something done. All right, so last sale of that Toby, that Kobe 96 tops PSA 10. A little over 5,100 bucks. He's asking 5,600. I'm gonna negotiate a little bit. If I can get it for 5K, it's an easy buy right now. That Kobe for 5K, in my opinion, easy buy. You do uh, 5K on the Kobe, sold for 5,100 on eBay yesterday. The Kobe 96 tops. Sold for 5,100 yesterday. You do five? Can you do PayPal or Venmo? Uh, I, don't, I don't have five cash anymore. You take PayPal? All right. 
just an easy pickup at 5K. Standard card, you can find these out there. There's not, you know, it's not a super rare card. But as I said, with the documentary coming up, with a Hall of Fame induction coming up, this to me is an easy pickup for 5K. I think the market's gonna go back up on these soon. Have you ever seen what's neat about that card? No. Check out the back. It's really Pop cool. Pop six. Pop six? Yeah. Do you know about this card? Well, this is Stephen Curry rookie here, so they, they made none of that last. So you see yeah, that, name, that's right? real low I stuff. Real low stuff, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. I've, got the, I've got the LeBron it's in. Crazy. Um, I got the 2009 LeBron, but um, Refractor. But I don't have the Kobe. You just don't see those. No, no, that's a rare one. You said that's a pop six? Pop six, yeah. Bananas. How much are you looking for on that? 10. 10, 10 racks. Looking for 10? A nine just over 4,800. It's fair. It's a, a fair week? price. A week ago, right? Well, that was the year that Top Chrome was short for I know, I know, I know. That's, that 09 is real hard. I'd, I'd take nine from you. You take, take nine from me? I'm asking Tim, I'd take nine from you. Okay. Ah. Uh, you see, here's the problem. If I do this, then this is going to push me to try to build the complete Kobe refractor collection, which is then going to cost me. I've already got, I, so I built out the entire LeBron refractor collection, all PSA 10, 03 through 09, which I think I might have the only full one in the world. Um, and so the, the problem is this would crack the seal, and now I got to build out all the Kobe's. So which one, you, you got the 98? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there might be a couple other ones I want too. So hold hold that one for a second, and then let's uh, let's look at a few others here. That's a tough card too, not to find green. Yeah, the youth quake. That's a good one. I just opened up a box of '96 tops chrome on Wednesday. Dude, I, I think so, man. I, 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 I'm a big believer right now in, in, in Kobe's cards. You got the hall and then you got a documentary coming up at some point. Um, kind of unknown when, but they're working on one, so. Those things will help. How much you want for that youth quake? The 10. The last one had a little bit of green, he sold for a little over 13. Okay. I'd say 13 for mine with no green. Okay. What's up? What are you looking at? Totally green one. Um, ten six. But the other one was thirteen four. Ten six and thirteen four. Yeah, ten six was green though, and thirteen four had a little shade of green. Right. I do. I do twelve thousand for it for you if you wanted to. I want to sell it on eBay. Would you do that plus that for twenty? I'll do that for you. You do it for 20? Yes, sir. All right, let's do that. I'm going to have to uh, PayPal wire. PayPal gift, whatever. Okay. I know you, so. Yeah, cool. Awesome. I want, I want all, the all right, so we, we just did a deal here for 20K. Uh, I love the Youth Quake. I don't have the Youth Quake. No greening, especially. And this one's got no greening. Perfect condition Youth Quake. Hard to find those 96 Tops Chrome without greening. So that's a great card. And then that is super, super low pop. Super low pop. The 2009 Topps, Topps Chrome stuff, super short printed, final year of Topps Chrome. And so that's, what do you say, pop six? Yes. Pop six on that card. So rare Kobe's, I'm about, all about it all day long. Awesome. I mean, like we're at a crazy pace right now. We just, I just looked today, we added 7,400 cards to market movers in the last 30 days. We're increasing it. So we're gonna be adding tens of thousands. So it's gonna be, just get better and better, so. I appreciate it. Oh, and, and by the way, our, our app, mobile app, comes out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I can't wait. You, yeah, get, you can see that you can see the sneak preview here. Uh -oh. I've got this sneak preview of the app on my phone. Oh, nice. This, this is on video? this is behind the scenes stuff here, Charles. Sure, you can get on video. Yeah, get on. Oh, you can get on. I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's do it. As you as you're looking them up, you can actually compare multiple ones together. Let's go. Let's do his 1996 uh, tops. So it's gets like real time. Going to show you all these different cards and all these different grades. Let's just look at PSA 10. And so now we're gonna get his different top choices, top finest, top space, youth quake. So I just bought this youth quake card right there, right? Beautiful. So let me just click that one. And it's gonna search it, it's gonna, you know, look at the price value right there. So you can see what that thing's been doing. You can look at recent sales of that card, all kinds of stuff. So this app is gonna be available. It's gonna come out in the app store uh, in about three or four weeks. So you're seeing, you're seeing the little preview, but late May, we're trying to get this out in time for the Dallas card show.
right, guys, so what are we seeing at the show so far? So much modern. I'm very surprised at how so much vintage there is, to be honest with you. Babe Bruce, there's a lot of Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams. Very surprised how much there's a good variety. The the amount of soccer caught my attention. There's a lot of soccer on the on that show floor. You walk in, like yeah. the first four tables are all soccer. Are all soccer. Like you get yeah, like it's it good it, stuff it, too. Yeah, and and you know what's interesting? Most of the soccer that I've seen is like last year, like the last year or so yeah. soccer. Yeah, it really is. Which just shows you that older soccer stuff. It won't any anything it, you see out there won't go older the, than 2018 World Cup. The older soccer stuff's gonna be really valuable. Yeah, what's a sixteen year old buy a sixty thousand dollar Holland card for his dad? Wow. I was blown away. Him and his little buddy were there and they got their suitcase around and they're doing wire transfers with this guy. I couldn't believe it. 15, 16 years old? No. With an unbelievable collection of cards making giant deals? Well, you, yeah, I had heard, I had heard about that at lunch. He did a wire transfer for 60K for a gold Holland. And That's what I heard. And he's got a case with some gems. Huh. See, uh, see if you can find it. See if he'd want to um, talk to me about what he's doing. How you doing, man? Hi, Jack. You, man. Jeff, nice to meet you. Absolutely. I heard I heard you uh, are wheeling and dealing. Yeah, I am. Do you mind? Um, we've got a table like in the back corner. Do you mind if we, if you, you want to show me some cards? I'll show you mine. Maybe we'll do a trade or something too if you're interested. How long have you been in the card game? Like five years. Okay. You're only 15, right? Yeah. 